Hello, and welcome to Connect, the weekly podcast for the California MBA, featuring one-on-one -on -one interviews with movers and shakers in the mortgage industry. I'm Susan Malazzo, CEO of the California MBA, and I'm happy you could join us today. Before I welcome today's guest, I'd like to take a moment and thank our 2024 President's Council sponsors. Now, in addition to membership, these uh, companies provide a tremendous amount of financial support for the California MBA, in large part so that we can continue to be the strong voices uh, for the real estate finance industry before the California State Legislature and our regulators. So please join me in thanking this year's President's Council sponsors, and those companies are AmeriHome, ArchMI, CMG Financial, Consolidated Analytics, Funding Shield, Guild Mortgage, and Western Alliance Bank. Thank you all so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Uh, and with that, I'd like to turn to today's guest. I'm very happy to welcome Serene Vernon, who's president, and Greg Armstrong, Chief Operating Officer at Lone Stream Mortgage. Serene, Greg, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Glad to be here. Uh, I always like to get started with a little background, so I'd love for each of you just to take a moment and share with our listeners how you got started in the mortgage business. Sure. I probably have a um, background or story similar to many others. Um, as an 18-year-old, um, just starting out in the, in the work field, um, I actually started working in a loan setup position at a mortgage company, putting myself through night school and um, just really grew to like the industry and never left. How about you, Mr. Armstrong? So I used to sell new homes in Houston, Texas, and every now and then a loan would get declined, and I just couldn't understand why my loans would get declined, and I thought, I might as well get into this mortgage business, it can't be that hard, and uh, <laughs> that was decades ago, and uh, just like everybody, once you get into this business, you cannot get out. So here I am, all these years later, still in the business. <laughs> it can't be that hard and super easy, yeah. no cycles at all. It's always very steady, right? Is that what somebody told you at one point? Exactly. So there you go. Uh, recently, LoanStream was recognized as a, a top non-QM lender. Um, so what separates uh, LoanStream from other non-QM lenders? Well, I will definitely give a few comments, but I want to start by saying, we are a little different from other companies. Um, we like fair competition. We think the more competition that stays in the business is actually healthy. So we like to see our competitors succeed as well as we do. And we know there's a lot of them out there doing the same things. Um, but you know, I would say you know, we started in the non-QM business back in the non-QM business in 2014. So we have uh, you know, 10 years of this product under our belt. And we have really great uh, training and programs and support staff. And where I think we vary from other lenders is we don't try to be all things to all people. We don't get stuck in the uh, fringe niches. We find you know, core programs that we do very well. We price them well, we service them well, and we get them over the finish line as fast as possible. I'll see if uh, Greg would like to add to that. Just I would just say, um, you know, anybody can offer the product, but it really requires a culture of, of people in the organization that have the experience and the expertise. So I, I find really kind of what sets us apart is we've been doing it a long time, but we also have people within our, our organization that are very comfortable with that product. So uh, it's a huge, it's a huge commitment for a company to make to start into 9QM and you've got to have great people behind you to make it work. Sounds good. So this, of course, uh, has been a difficult market for, for many, many lenders. And uh, I know as a wholesale lender, you can see your clients trying to navigate this market. Uh, how does LoanStream assist them with trying to expand um, their market share? Well, you know, a lot of uh, loan officers and brokers um, weren't in the industry back before the big subprime crash. So a lot really got in to FHA, Fannie, Freddie, and you know, spent many years just doing those types of loans. You have an AUS, you don't really have to spend a lot of time qualifying those borrowers. And you know, right now that business is dried up and the self-employed borrowers and real estate investors are you know, what's out there and what needs, what needs help in this market. 
you know, a lot of those consumers were locked out um, during the refi boom because it was so easy to just work on conventional refis at the time. Okay. So we do everything we can to train, give webinars, provide qualification services, and anything we can to show brokers that these loans are easy to do and they should have them in their uh, bag of tricks. I think uh, definitely a market where everybody is looking for a wide range of products, right? So it's great to be able to support lenders and help them navigate a market like this. Great, great, uh, great job from LoanStream. Uh, we talked in the beginning of our conversation that you both had um, a long, successful career in the mortgage industry. Can you share with our listeners why? What advice would you give to somebody who is just starting out? Don't. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Greg. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh, no, I don't mean don't. I think kind of, kind of back to my first comment early on, where I thought this mortgage business is easy. It's not easy. There's so much to learn. There's so much language. It's, 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 it's not easy to start in this industry. But we do see people that are successful, and really, what sets them apart is the people that are persistent. They grind it out every day. They under, they talk to people who are successful. They take those tips. They work hard and they grind it out. Um, and in a market like this, our most successful producers and our most successful brokers are those that are very disciplined. They have a process. They follow it, and they follow it every day. And they are very, they're still very successful in a very tough market. So, three. That's what I see. Yeah. What I would just add to that is that you know the market is cyclical. There's going to be good times and there's going to be bad times. And you know, producers really can't chase volume that they had several years ago right now because it's just not there. So what I would say is when people get in during the good times, yes, it is good, but make sure to save for a rainy day because there will be a down cycle and there will be bad times. Just because you make the money doesn't mean you need to spend it all. That's great advice. I think a lot of people miss that, but that is actually a really good piece of advice that uh, not enough people share, Serene. So thank you for throwing that in. <laughs> uh, so Lone Stream's a member of the California MBA. Thank you for your support. Uh, you're also a big sponsor at our Western Secondary Market Conference, which is just a week away. I can't believe that it's already on, on uh, already that time of year. Uh, but can you share with our listeners why the company chooses to support uh, our organization and join us for Western Secondary? Yeah, I'll take that one, Serene. I, I think, um, you know, Susan, you, you and I have known each other for a long time and have always appreciated what you and, and the uh, association have done. I think the, the two big reasons for us to be a member is one year is the industry advocacy. Um, I mean, obviously we're a California based company. It's not always easy to do business in the state of California. Uh, and CMBA has been very successful in defeating some of the bills that, you know, really would have had a negative impact. So we want to make sure we support you in that continuing effort on that side. The other side, uh, the other thing that we use is obviously the conferences and events. Uh, they're always well attended. They're fun. Uh, you have some great industry leaders and speakers at those events. They're obviously great for networking. It's great to see old friends. Uh, and like you say, this year we're a platinum sponsor at the secondary conference. We're excited to do it. Uh, we have a lot of meetings scheduled. We're excited to see everybody attend. We know we got a new a new place this year that you're going to try out. We're excited to see that location, and uh, we're excited about the event. Well, we are excited for Western Secondary. Yes, our new location at the Terraneo Resort in Rancho Palos Verdes. And um, I know that uh, there's still time to register. If you want to join us, you can meet with great companies like Lenstream as well as our other sponsors. So uh, thank you both, Serene and Greg, for being on Connect. I really appreciate it. And I will see you uh, soon. Thank yes, you, sir. Susan, for having us. Yes, thank you. And thanks to all of you for joining us today. Uh, to access any of our past episodes, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. We're also available on SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. That's it for this week, and we'll see you next time on Connect.